Hello everybody, my name is Rhea and in this video I am going to explain a program which is again based on classes and objects. Uh, in the previous two videos we had also seen, we had seen the programs which is based on classes and objects. Again in this video we are going to see a program which is again based on classes and objects and here in this program specifically we will be using the concept of array. So first of all let me tell you uh, what we are exactly going to do in this program. So in this program first of all we have to create a class uh, called matrix uh, and the matrix should be a two dimensional array of integers and we have to perform the following operations on the matrices such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and uh, before performing these operations on the elements of the matrices we have to check the compatibility of the two matrices and we have to get the u input from the user through get data function and display the results in the put data function now let us see how to write the code for this program so first of all as usual i have included the standard library function sorry a header file that is hash include io stream and the standard library function and i have defined the class here the class name is matrix and uh, uh, the data members are m1 n1 m2 n2 these are the order of the matrices m1 and n n1 are the order of matrices of first of a and m2 and n2 are the order of matrix of matri matrix of b and i and j are variables now i have also declared three two dimensional i have also declared to three two dimensional array that is a b and c now I have defined a function inside the class void get data through which the user will be able to enter the number of rows and columns of the matrix A and then the user will be able to enter the elements which he wants to put in matrix A. Then the user will be entering the rows and columns of matrix B and similarly the user will be entering the elements of matrix B. Now, Inside the class function itself, I have also added a function called add data, which will be adding the elements of the matrix A and B. So in this matrix, uh, so what is the condition for adding the elements of matrices for two ma uh, for adding the elements of two matrices? So the condition is that number of rows should be of A should be equal to the number of rows of B and number of columns of matrix A should be equal to number of columns of matrix B. Now if this condition is satisfied, the elements will be added. The elements of the two matrices will be added. Now after these elements are added, we will display it. So for that, I am calling this function that is display that I will have defined after I write all these functions that is add, subtract and multiply. Now similarly, now in this function also itself if this condition is not true then else will be displaying that the matrices are not compatible this means suppose if the order of matrix a is 2 and 3 and the order of matrix b is 3 and 4 so in such a case the elements of the two matrices cannot be added because the number of rows of uh, matrix A is not equal to number of rows of matrix B and number of columns of matrix A is not equal to number of columns of matrix B. Now uh, since we have seen how we defined add function add data function now we will we'll define add, subtract data function for that I have uh, defined it here that is void sub data now again in this we have to check the condition if the number of rows of matrix A is equal to number of rows of matrix B and number of columns of matrix A is equal to number of columns of matrix B. Now if this condition is true, we will be subtracting the elements of uh, both the matrices and then we will be displaying each and every element. Now if this condition is false, again it will show that the matrices are not compatible. The reason is same as I have told you. Uh, for the add data function. Now for multiplication, uh, when we multiply the elements of two matrices, the condition is that number of columns of uh, matrix A should be equal to number of rows of matrix B. Now if this condition is true, 
the elements of the two matrices will, will be will be added and if this condition is true after that the will be displaying each and every element uh, suppose if this condition is false it will display that the matrices are not compatible now this function is for displaying the elements of the matrices that is the resultant matrix to display for that we are using c of i and j to display the elements in the form of rows and columns and uh, this display mul will uh, display mul function will display the elements which are obtained after multiplying the elements of both the matrices now let us see what has to be done in the main function main method that is we are we are creating an object that is res matrix res and then char ch we are making it a menu driven program so that it will be easy for the user to enter his or her choice um, so the first choice is addition subtraction and multiplication first choice is addition and uh, second is subtraction and then multiplication so in case one of the user enters case one so first of all uh, we have to get the data so this is used for getting the data that is res dot get data and then res dot add data that is first option will be if the user uh, enters one then it will be taking to this part of the program and then uh, first of all the compiler will be obtaining the data using this function call and then using this function call the elements of the matrices would be added similarly for subtraction and for multiplication now if uh, the user enters any of the choices apart from these three which is given so then the compiler will display invalid choice for that i have uh, included the statement in the default now once the user has done all the operations if uh, the user wants to continue the compiler would ask whether he or she wants to continue if he or she presses y then it will again take to the menu Now let us see how this program runs. Now uh, enter your choice to perform the following operation. Suppose addition. So I am entering the rows and columns of matrix A. Two and three elements. Two, three. resultant matrix is displayed now again y if i want to perform multiplication operation i am entering 2 and 3 we have to ensure that the number of columns of matrix a is equal to number of columns of number of rows of matrix b resultant matrix is this thank you